From untangling code in Git merges, to battling traffic in highway merges, we've all experienced the struggle of trying to make things fit together. Luckily, when it comes to mail merge in Laravel, you don't typically have to stare at endless lines of conflicting code or honk any horns. In this video, we'll teach you the steps of implementing mail merge in your Laravel project and cover everything from installing libraries and creating templates all the way to testing the automated email customization. Hello, and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. As the first task in completing mail merge in Laravel, make sure you have your project all set up. Then install the following two libraries. PHP League CSV, which is added using this composer command, and PHP Word, which requires a different command for installation. These libraries will enable mail merge in Laravel by generating personalized Word documents from CSV data. After the installation, and as the next step, in the project files, under storage, app, public, create an email template. This is what our template looks like. In it, using mail merge, we'll set the appropriate name for each recipient. Along with the template, in the same location, you'll also need to create a CSV file containing your contacts. In our file, each contact entity consists of a name and an email address. Once you've finished these preparatory steps, then you can proceed with coding and creating a mailable class. This is done by using the following command. As we have already created the class in our project, we'll skip on running the command and simply show you what the class code should look like. Before we jump into that, just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button for more tutorials like this one. First, within the class, we have a constructor method that automatically sets a private string property called name when an instance of the class is created. Then comes the content method, which completes a few tasks. Loading a docx template from the storage app directory, replacing the placeholder name in the docx template with the actual value of the name class variable, saving the processed docx file to the new file in the storage path with a unique name that includes the name variable value, loading the processed docx file using the IO factory class, iterating using two for each loops through each section and element of the docx document, extracting the text content from each element using the getWordText method and appending the result to the text variable. And finally, returning a content object and passing the extracted text content to an email template. The template, located under resources, views, mail, has a name specified as mail.docx underscore template and the extracted content from the docx file is passed via the with parameter. The next important method within the mailable class is the getWordText method we mentioned earlier. This method recursively extracts text from different elements of a Word document and accepts an element from a Word document as a parameter. The method also consists of the initialization of an empty string variable for storing the extracted text, an if statement which checks if the past element is an instance of a class called abstract container an else if block which is executed if the element is not a container but instead an instance of a class called text and the returning of the result in the case of the condition in the if statement being true and the element is an instance of the abstract container class the code uses a for each loop to iterate over all the elements it contains for each element in this container it calls the method getWordText to retrieve some text representation of the element, appending the result to the result string. On the other hand, if the condition in the else if statement is true and the element is an instance of the text class, the code simply appends the text contained in the element to the result variable. With the mailable class out of the way, it's time to create a custom command class. Again, as our command class, which we named send welcome emails, is already done, we'll simply run you through its code. First, besides the name, signature and description of the command class in its code, you will also see the handle method. This method defines what happens when the command is executed. And in the case of the send welcome emails command class, this includes the following. 
loading the CSV file located under Storage, App. Setting the first row of the CSV file as the header. This ensures that when you iterate over the rows, you can reference them by the header names. Looping through each row in the CSV file. Inside the loop, assigning the name and email values from each CSV row to the variable's name and email. Sending an email to the email address using Laravel's mail facade. The facade calls the send method with the welcome email mailable class, passing the name variable to it. This allows the welcome email mailable to use the value of the variable to personalize the email's content. And finally, outputting a message in the terminal, indicating that the emails have been sent successfully. Now, before you run the command and see how the code works in action, you do need to configure an SMTP server. For demo purposes, we'll use the SMTP server provided by MailTrap Email Testing, as it doesn't deliver emails to real addresses. So, in the .env file of your Laravel project, specify the host, port, username, password, and the rest of the SMTP server details to complete the configuration. Then, simply press Enter to run the command. If everything goes in order, you should see a success message in your terminal. And if you want to double check, you can also go into your MailTrap account and under email testing, find the sent emails in a virtual inbox where you can also inspect and debug them if necessary. Now, look at that. Just one tutorial and you've mastered mail merge in Laravel. If you're interested in doing some mail merging in Python as well, on our YouTube channel, we have a dedicated tutorial just waiting for you to give it a watch. We'll see you there.